The bent of being Christian is to be on the side of the margin, be on the side of those who are visited to prison and going in and being a prayer and being out of my helmet and read the big green sign and visit to send it and anybody steps on prison property subjects themselves to body search, dog sniffing. I stopped reading the book and I'm going, oh, I got a lot of them. I like that. And then the guard bringing me through, climbing the gates behind me, but no soft sounds in prison. It's all sin for us, climbing the bars. But you are not going to die alone without seeing one face that believes in your dignity and that this should not be happening. I'll be the face Christ, you believe me. You believe my face. I have strengthened me. And that's what happened. Mine was the last face he saw before they put this leather mask on him to prepare the witness from seeing what happens to the human body in 1900 balls of wonders. No religious leaders protested the killing that night. But I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. And what I saw set my soul on fire. Don't you want to see justice done for our bed, John? What would I say to them? Most people think of kids as like weakness. Like, oh, you killed my son in law. You didn't like to know me. Did they deter the crimes? Yeah, they did. But the difficulty is about us. It's about us as a society choosing how we're going to deal with those among us who have done terrible crimes. What is it in us that makes us think we have to imitate the worst behavior in the world to do to them what they did to their victims, and that is what we mean by justice. And there's not enough heart or political will in your legislature yet to just repeal it like other states are doing, and they're not going to do that until we, the citizens, I mean, students sit here tonight, too, that we begin to make our voices heard to 